Welcome back to Blue Planet War in Heaven for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We are going into the 10th mission of the campaign. Alright, 10th mission. We, this will be a uh, database reading entry as usual. On to our mission briefing. Aristide. Vacation's over. We're back to the war. I'm just back from a conference with Captain Sorensen and Captain Karamatin. The good news is the last six days have done wonders for our combat readiness. The Indus and Yangtze have both used the Agincourt's capabilities to maximize their combat efficiency. Our own fighters have been repaired, rearmed, and in some cases patched up with TEV equipment. Laporte, your ship had a faulty comm unit, so you now have a TEV receiver decryptor installed. Don't let your Earther side get the better of you. I don't want any attempts to understand how they feel. <laughs> The bad news is that traffic with the Agincourt, which remains under the control of our prized party, has had unintended consequences. Our entire backup pilot roster is sick with some kind of influenza variant they picked up from the Tev crew. Worse yet, someone in the press gang GTBA deck crew sabotaged several of our fighters while they were being tuned up on the Agincourt. Between the Indus and Yangtze, we have seven flight-ready pilots, two gunships, and five Kenteroys. And, as I'm sure you've all anticipated, the GTBA is finally on to us. Oh boy. Our destination gate is 30 minutes away on sublight, however, Lieutenant Levi's last recon run spotted the GTD hood blockading the gate. It must have arrived within the last few hours and remained under sensor silence. Five minutes ago, the hunter-killer corvette team, Serker, jumped in to reinforce the hood. Hey, discipline. I know many of you have heard of Serker. The Marcus Glaive, Pylum, and Hydra specialize in short-range subspace shock attacks, jumping in and eliminating warships. We believe the Tevs plan to destroy the Indus and Yangtze, then recapture the Agincourt. Well, that means they know we're here, so why haven't they shock jumped us? We've obviously been detected. So we've signaled Admirals Natraba and Calder for backup. Judging by the terse replies we've received, they were ready for this contingency. Natraba is going to take the Eris and some artillery, along with our war god companions Katana and Altenord, and wreak havoc at the GTVA's Neptune fortifications. That should draw off steel in the Atreus. Admiral Calder is sending the jamming ship Anjanea to help us fend off the Serker Corvettes. The Anjanea has Jupiter's very best electronics aboard. If all goes well, she'll stymie their beam weapons entirely. Once their targeting is jammed, our frigates will engage with torpedoes and hopefully destroy the Circa threat once and for all. Katana and Out in Order ju are uh, Jupiter, Third Fleet Jupiter uh, frigates, though. Oh well. If the Carthage remains in reserve to defend Artemis Station, then Admiral Calder will send us a torpedo strike division to help mop up. We get the Agincourt through the gate and go home heroes. Our role in this is, as usual, to kill Tev fighters. There are only a few of us, so we all need to be in top form. We're rested and ready, and if we stay close to the Indus and Yangtze, our teamwork and point defenses should give us the upper hand against GTVA fighter sweeps. The Agincourt's guns will add to our fire pocket. We will face skilled pilots in great numbers. It's the seven of us against the Hood's fighters. We must hold. Oh boy, why is it Tutata suddenly on the uh, reading map? Laporte, you're on my wing. After how many card games you've lost to me in the last couple days, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Levi, you perpetual malcontent, you'll fly R3. Karen Ingmay and Olafumi off the Yangtze will fly Beta. Glance, Ogre, you're our gunship support. Look, if you people want my opinion, I think something big is happening. The Agincourt alone is a huge target, but it's drawn out a Tev Destroyer and other vital assets. I think Calder and Netrabar are using the Agincourt as a catalyst for their own strategic plans. I mean, think about it. The Hood is here, ready for the taking. The Atreus is occupied. The Carthage is probably going to play defense. The Imperius is out of the system. We have a golden opportunity here. If we do our jobs here today, then maybe the War Gods will go down in history as the ones who turned the war around. We'll see about that. Primary objectives, protect the Agincourt, Indus, and Yangtze. And secondary objectives, inflict maximum casualties. All right, we're on Kinteroy. We have... Access to GTA fighters from the uh, Agincourt stores. So the Atalanta is next generation space superiority. Nyx is a heavy heavy assault gunship, and Draco is an interceptor. It's faster than the Kenteroy. Let's take a Nyx. See what we can do here. Do we have trebuchets. I do not see trebuchets. Do we have Maxims. We have Kazers. 
Lamprey, Baylor, Vulcan. Okay, the stuff down there will be, yeah. UEF stuff is incompatible. Akaton, Subak, Morningstar, Prometheus. Okay, it doesn't have any of the stuff that would make me want to fly a GTA ship. So let's just go back to our kids. We got Slammers, we got Javelins. I think I'm gonna swap my Slammers for paved ways. Simply because we'll have beams to disarm, I know we will. So Javelins and Dart seems good, let's Intra System Gate 154, Blockade Forces, GTD Hood, Corvette Team, Serker, and apparently that Aeolus Cruiser. Oh, this is fucked. Look at those Corvettes. Calda better come through, or we're gonna be operated. Reinforcements are coming, War Gods. Until they arrive, we hold. They're going to throw squadron after squadron at us, and we will kill them, and we will hold. Understood? Seven of us against a destroyer and a hunter-killer team. How are we supposed to- On the to field before Troy, Diomedes, given strength by Pallas Athena, routed the strong grieved and the disciplined. This is your Aristia, Noemi. Fight, and you will triumph. How are we going to keep them from running away before we're done with them? Hmm. You know, Laporte, I could really get used to you. Here they come, war gods. Oh, we're not shooting paveways at fighters. Alright, they've dragged the fighters going in. And somebody is on Get out of there! Heads up, LaCord. Keep it up, War Gods. We're getting kills here. Stay close to the frigates and add your core. <laughs> All right, half of them gone. Unfortunately, it costs over half my hull. Switching the heat seeker so I can take snapshots. Get out of there, blood letters. The feds have you in a fire pocket. Three left. Splash one Tev squadron. Hold by the frigates, war gods. They've got more metal on the way. Okay, I need repairs. <coughs> Zerker approaching... Corvettes approaching beam range. Jinx. Sims, if that ECM support doesn't show up. This is the UEA Engineer on station to provide ECM support. We will attempt to disrupt Zerker's beam guidance. Stand by. I see plasma shine on the Zerker Corvette. Heavy damage. What the hell hit me? Clean misses. Our jamming held. Indus, Yemtsin, commence your engagement. We will jam the hood's primary weapons. Oh, Pilots, shit. we're detecting another Tev squadron jumping in. We've also got a launch from the hood. They're piling it off. Zerker Corvettes are turning off. Watch those triple-A beams, pilots. Damn. That's a whole heavy assault squadron. Watch the trebs. Two, you ready for more? Ready and eager, sir. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Stay frosty, war gods. Keep your shields tight. We're all over this. Heads up. Heads up. 
Artemis bomber strike inbound on the Arginea. Protect that ship before the cliff will open up on us. We've got company. Horseshoe, Ted bastards. Off yet, people. The Tevs will use stagger deployments. Watch for more waves trying to sneak in. You mean like that? We have a squadron of assault fighters struggling in. They're moving to strike Yanksy and Indus. Right with Copy you, that. Levi. Nail those hercs if you get a chance, people. Oh, this guy broke off the dog fight me. Come on, come on. She's all over me. Someone help me. Heads up, pilots. Kula squadron inbound. Five clicks. Don't let them bounce. Bank three empty. This is the UAC on sand leading second torpedo strike division Joby and Christy. Admiral Calder sends his compliments, engaging the Corvettes. This is Delta Wing 18 Blade Dancers, UED Eric. Tagging on to your battle net and assuming escort position. Good to have you, Blade Dancers. Bank 2 empty. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. All right, you garbage fighter, come here. We've got a fire on the hangar deck and shearing damage in secondary structural members. Step up your efforts, pilots. Indus, this is the Oxair. Our ECM ship just went down. Can you lend us a few channels in case more Tev Hunter killers arrive? That's a negative, Oxair. We need everything we've got to safeguard the Ashen Corps. The Yankees hurting. What the hell, I've got... Eh, I'm getting really flight anyway. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. The day of Brickta and Oxe are going to get wrecked by those Corvettes. Like, there's almost nothing we can do about that. All guards, this is too tardis action. Steel just slipped the warship past me. You have a strike corvette in there. ETA is 30 seconds. Oh the shit. Left. Called it out. Shimera Corvette 5 has withdrawn. She'll be out of the fight for a few days. Copy that, Admiral. War gods return to the Ashen Core and stand by for contact. We don't have a vector on her arrival yet. Pilots, the TEV attack is slackened off. Disarm weapon subsystems on the nearby Corvettes so our torpedoes can get through. Sweet fortune, what a chump! The Medea has emerged from broadside position and is commencing attack. Torpedo 2, brace for beamfire. War gods, Oxair. We cannot hold against the Medea. We are trying to reach the Eris for help, but the Medea is jamming our transmission. Advise. Oxair, Yancy, we're jammed as well. Hold the Medea off while we try and punch through. 
Meta missiles calling for. And who that it's AWACS have begun an electronic warfare attack on us. We cannot overcome the media's noise. Magazine fire breaks are going. We're. Well, shit. We just lost the day of Brickdown. God, she's relentless. We need to put some pressure on that Corvette. Anyone have a bright idea? Indistact, War God 6. What's the status on that gym? I need assets out here. Stand by six, we're resolving the system's crisis. Bank one low. Have to get off to Yangtze Tactical. Bank one empty. War gods, Yangtze Tactical. We're punching our way through, but it's gonna take some time. Do what you can with current assets. Be aware that the Medea's slash beams can be just even through an ECM cover. Wait, wait, Sims! I've got that Tev comm unit on board and it's got green lights. Give me the codes for the Aerosnap. You think you can handle it, Laporte? Yeah, me too. All right, here goes. Enter 229 or Bravo Hotel 761 Kilo, then hold to authenticate. Sims? Laporte. I'm on the Arisnet and they're waiting for my requests. What now? We're going down, we're going down. This is Torpedo 2 signing off. Stand clear of our blast. Assemble a strike package to take out that Corvette. They won't let you request the whole damn air wing, so be selective. Those Jovians died to buy us time. Let's not screw this up. Alright. The Medea has achieved a partial beam lock. She's about to open fire! Strike bombers. Sigma wing, ready to ride fighter cover for strikes on the Medea. Durga bombers, ready for high intensity strike operations. Ready for your orders, Agincourt team. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. We still haven't gotten rid of the Marcus Glaive or, or Hydra. Fangs out. Actually, no. Fangs out! We need to kill the Diomedes. The Marcus Blade isn't a threat at the moment. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. going poorly. This, this is fierce. We did it! The Medea is coming apart. Good strike, Colaport. That was brilliant work. And here goes the Marcus Blade. Recall. Recall. Immediate relief action needed at neck. All Eris fighter and gunship assets respond. Highlands. With the Medea down, we should be able to contact other fleet elements. Stand by. Reading a subspace exit. There goes a Corvette. Pulling Hydra from the gunnery. Marcus Glaive has exited the field of engagement. One less major threat. Indus, War God 6. Can we get some additional firepower to deal with that command carrier parked in front of the gate? Hey, you lot. What do you think the HUD's doing? Just looming there, throwing out fighters, instead of taking a blix at us. Looks like they're still having trouble with the Anjanea's jamming. War Gods, this is Admiral Calder. I am prepping the two TARDIS for relief action. I will not be able to recover my screen, so I trust you to provide fighter cover. Re Lorna, we're in rough shape. If the Tev sortie a hunter-killer team or enough bombers, we could lose that destroyer. Between his squadrons and Natraba's feint, the Tevs are occupied. It's Indra 2 all over again, only this time Calder is on our side. We just need to do our jobs. Prepare to assault the herd or engage hostile bombers, sir. Let's do this. Oh 
guards, this is Calder. I am closing on the hood. Her AWAX is scrabbling my torpedo locks, and I need my torpedoes. Destroy it. I don't think we want to keep him waiting. Bonsai that AWOX, war guards. Watch the escorts. Gunnery, target the hood's main beam with the CG force. J.E. Hoover, GTA Charybdis. Look at all that flag, Jesus. On our way in. See, taking out the radar dome is good enough. Tank one low. Tank one empty. I could use a hand here. Apparently not. Oh, there it goes. The hood's AWACS cover is gone. Can you achieve a lock, Tutatis? Permanent. All torpedo stations. Get me salvo fire on the hood. Show them out. We have ET in superiority. They can't fire their main beam and uh They can't stop our torpedoes. Two Galus cruisers. Deadly and Aya McCarthy. Isn't Aya McCarthy still alive? She was mentioned in the intel briefings. Let's watch the show. Run home, little Tev. Tell Steele. I'm coming for him. Dude, where the hell are you? The field is ours. Captain Martash, stand down to condition two and begin damage assessment. Sir, this is Captain Sorensen, JTF War Gods. We have retrieved the target and are prepared to return to Earth. Congratulations, Captain. You just bit off a quarter of the Tev's logistical ability and gave us our first real victory in the war. That logistics ship is a treasure trove. I'm not handing it over to Earth. The Trauber and I have other plans. Oh, good. Sir. Admiral Burns' standing orders are to deliver all captured GTVA technology for his project. Isn't this mutiny? Martian Concordia and Jovian Systems Republic do not answer to Burn. We answer to the Elders. And while they are wise leaders, they are not warriors. At 0800 this morning, Admiral Natraba and I informed Burn that 2nd and 3rd fleets are now autonomous commands. Admiral Burn and the Elders are committed to a defensive war that will bring the Tevs to the negotiating table. That strategy is fatally flawed. You'll find no disagreement here, Admiral. We're all glad to be finally hitting back. Hot damn! Karen, you owe me a fiver. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Sir, if 2nd and 3rd Fleet plan to bring the war to the GTVA, the War God stands ready. Admiral Steele's plan to stage a single Decisive battle on Earth leaves the GTVA vulnerable to counterattack during the buildup. He is going for the throat, and the Traber and I plan to kick him in the balls. Taking out the Asian Corps will cut their supply chain. They'll need another four or five months of preparation. We will exploit this advantage. Sir, I have something to say. Damn it, oh God, damn it! Quiet, Calder will bust your balls for so much as coughing without permission. Pilot, do you have an objection to this task force's new assignment? Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. No, sir. I just wanted to express my thanks and convey my wishes that Admiral Byrne would grow the balls to make this decision himself. Sub-Lieutenant Laporte, your willingness to speak ill of a superior officer in an undisciplined tirade fills me with... 
certain ill-advised respect. Consider yourself forgiven. Possibly even acknowledged. Now get the Ashen Car through that gate before Steel disentangles himself and comes running to save his career. <laughs> <laughs> My god, Laporte, you're still on flight status. I can't believe Calder let you off. <laughs> nice speech, Sub-Lieutenant. Did you have that all written out on some flowered stationery, taped up in your cockpit? Oh, I bet he loved your input, Laporte. He'll probably make you special requisitions officer for Burns testicles. Or something. Oh, hush, <laughs> you know how I get on combat high. The fact that you're lucid enough to all say right, that. All right, war gods. Looks like we're going to win this war all on our own. Let's jump home and get started. <laughs> and fade to black. Six weeks ago, we, as a people, were coasting towards defeat. Today, we put the Federation back into contention. With the capture of the Agin Corps logistics ship, we've done nearly as much damage to GTVA infrastructure in the system as their Blitz did to us. Without the Agin Corps, they can't pressure us to the same degree. Without pressure, we can hit back. And if we can hit back, that means Steele's plan for a decisive stroke at Earth is off. Better yet, we dealt significant damage to GTVA tactical assets. Circer team and the GTD hood will be repairing at Artemis Station for several days, possibly weeks. Without those hunter killers in the field, we can deploy our own warships more aggressively. Admiral Natraba and Admiral Calder are in conference with Admiral Byrne and several elders right now. I imagine the proverbial defecation has really hit the ventilation. <laughs> Byrne wanted the Agent Corps very badly, but my impression is that Calder and Natraba plan to use it to support a new offensive to retake Jupiter. The Agent Corps has as much logistical capacity as three of our standard dockyards. And it's mobile. The bad news from today was our own losses. The Tevs are reeling strategically, but tactically, they were as strong as ever. Torpedo 2 was murdered, trying to assist us. In the Neptune fight, Admiral Steele gave Natraba's artillery a sound thrashing and came near to catching the Eris itself. That man remains a menace. The Indus and Yangtze will be in dock for several days, working back up after today's beating. We have been given exemption from Jump 5 duty. While I ordinarily stay away from all squadron social activities, I think the War Gods deserve some quality bonding time. Karen Ingme has a place in Kandor Chasma, and the hiking is fabulous. I'll send a communique after the briefing, people. Hiking on Mars, huh? Personal log, Naomi Laporte. You can rest easy, kid. I think we might win this one after all. Oh, boy. Alright, ten total kills and four assists. Two Herc 2s, five Artemis, and three Kulas fighters. By our all time total of 45 with eight assists. So, this has been Aristea, the 10th mission of Blue Planet War in Heaven for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming, signing off. <laughs> <laughs>